thank you for your kind words i thank you for your prayers i thank you all so much look for all your prayers for applejack like applejack is so loved Thanks for clicking on Simply Tanika. I am Tanika. If you are new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Let's hang out a while. If you are returning, welcome back. What's up, fertility fam? We gotta do what? Let's get those babies, ladies. Hey fam, how are you? Today is Tuesday, January 8th. Happy New Year. Um, is that right? It's the 8th? It's the 8th, yeah. Happy New Year. It is my first video of 2019. It's so crazy. Um, although I've been chatting with you guys, so it feels like I've talked to you this year, but I haven't been on camera. So I am um, going to try to make this brief. The long and short of it is, um, I think you guys know from the last video, but it's officially the end of my pregnancy or my pregnancy is ending I guess I should say I don't know how to say it I'm I'm not going to I'm just gonna say what I'm gonna say and then either it comes out okay or not and Friday I went in and my HCG did not increase appropriately it should have gotten to I think by 1100 by Friday and it did not um, it did increase but not appropriately and so that is pretty much the beginning of the end i opted to not do any sort of medical intervention i didn't want to do that um, meaning the last time in 2017 when i had a miscarriage i did medication for it so that it made my uterus contract and the contents of my pregnancy as they say were expelled i was 10 weeks at that point so technically if we go by my last menstrual period lmp i should be about seven weeks when the when it didn't go i think it's eight weeks this week but seven weeks so you would expect to already have been in the thousands at that point um we had a little bit of a leeway but as you heard or most of the conversation with dr mcconnell some of that the audio was not good but there's definitely a thing on this one has a yes Oh my god. Can you see it? Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, Jakey looks up terrible. Okay. All right, oh my God, I'm gonna call the clinic and see if I can get in. I'm gonna see if I can get in today. I was gonna wait till tomorrow, but I have this now. So, um, it's 8.49. I'm gonna hop in the shower and just go over there and with these tests, I'm gonna take a picture. This, I don't, I think this stays for 24 hours. Um, we'll see, oh my God. We're not out of the woods yet. It is faint, but they said on there, no matter what color or no matter how dark, Oh my god, Applejack is still with me. So Dr. Lobo says because it's got, starting to go up, he wants to have you repeat it. It's still low, but it's rising. We saw that implantation took place, and this, um, it's really, I, it's amazing to me. You had one egg that was collected, and that one fertilized and got to the, went to the point of a transfer. All right, thank you. All right, we'll talk next year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too, Katrina. <laughs> yeah, call me if you need anything, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, take care. All bye. right, bye-bye. Yeah, I don't know. I had, um, I had spotting on Christmas Eve on the 24th. Now I am going to pray for... What is it? God, grant me the strength to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom, the wisdom to know the difference. So I'm praying for strength right now. There wasn't a high expectation, right? Everyone was saying cautiously optimistic, and so I knew what I was up against. And so my goal was to enjoy Applejack as much as I could. And 
that those were my intentions. I don't know that it ended up that way. This last weekend on Instagram, I think I just like lost it and I was like, I wish people would stop asking me how am I feeling because uh, I'm feeling too many things to text you about. I mean, it's the short answer. Too many things to DM you about, which is how people were asking. And then my niece was like, is Applejack still hanging around? And I sent the note because I was like, I don't want to not be honest with her so i said no i said my numbers are not increasing appropriately but given what i was going through at the moment i thought it was crass to ask me is he still sticking around because literally that's what i've been praying for is for him to stick around so it just seemed like really blunt and i don't think she meant it that way i honestly don't harbor any ill will to her. i don't think she realized what she was saying i hope to god she doesn't realize what she was saying it's just a hard thing it's just a hard thing to keep answering it's a hard thing to have to answer because if i said yes and then later said oh yeah on that day it's like, why didn't you tell me? But that's the thing, and I think it's it's so interesting because the last time I had the miscarriage, a lot of people were upset with me because I didn't tell them immediately. I didn't tell them what was going on, and I did what I felt was right for me at the time. And so now more people know because I have this YouTube channel, I'm talking about it with people, but I feel like it's backfiring because I thought before, well, I didn't tell anyone because I knew it was a high risk and I was waiting. And then I thought, oh my God, I had to go through it all alone. I could have like shared it with someone. But in the end, I am going through it all alone because I feel like a lot of like my, um, I don't want to say that. I am not going through it totally alone because I know that a lot of you guys have supported me and I am so grateful for that. I know I'm on a delay, so it's hard it's hard for us to stay connected and so I think people are reaching out to me in the DMs to feel a connection and to check in like genuinely concerned about how I feel which I so tremendously appreciate and I don't want to sound like I don't appreciate it and I don't want to sound like I'm not grateful because I'm so incredibly grateful for all of you guys what I'm saying is to have to explain it to people who don't get it over and over and over again is draining. Like some people don't know what HCG is. They don't know that it has to increase at a certain rate. They don't know, you know, someone was like, oh, well, what, you're five weeks or six weeks, shouldn't you have a heartbeat? No, because the HCG is not high enough. And so it's just like, that part is a little difficult. That part is a little difficult, but I'm gonna suck it up because I decided to be public with this. I decided that I wanted to share my story. So this is the story. Um, I wanted to help others. And so I think part of helping is I'm not the only one who has family members who don't understand infertility. I'm not the only one who has family members who don't know about assisted reproductive technology, right? And so I can't be the only one having to go through this, explaining this to people in the middle of my own crisis. And so I don't have all the answers. If you've been through it and you have had to explain it to someone, like how did you get through it? And how did you keep your sanity? Because I do feel like I'm losing a little bit of my mind, quite frankly. I mean, that I posted that on Instagram. Like, I am grumpy, I'm tired, and um, bloated. Because, and I'm angry. I didn't say that in the post because I don't want people to think I'm ungrateful. And I didn't want to, like, go into, like, my numbers didn't increase on Instagram at that moment. But it was, like, feeling very much pregnant, having all of those kind of symptom signs of everything else and knowing it's not going to end in a baby and knowing I had that fear and then I'm like I'm feeling guilty like did I speak it into existence but I was trying to explain it to people as we went along because I wanted to manage their expectations I don't know if that's right or not I, in retrospect I don't know if I should be worried about other people's feelings at this moment um, other than part of it was to help inform help change the conversation because there are women who have miscarriages one and four and this is called like an early loss um so i don't even know i guess that's also a miscarriage i'm not gonna call it a chemical pregnancy i hate that expression um but i think i don't know i think there's like a medical term if the hcg doesn't get so high um i don't know guys i don't know i'm not even gonna like there's so many like articles running through my head. I don't want to misstate it. 
early loss is what they're calling it medically um which is is a form of a miscarriage and yeah yeah i made the decision to share the story publicly so this is part of the story so that's it and i am grateful to all of you guys who have wished me well who have said things like you deserve it i think we all deserve it i think we've all worked hard for our babies and i hope that we all get them I thank you for your kind words. I thank you for your prayers. I thank you all so much for all your prayers for Applejack. Like Applejack is so loved. Um, the idea of the baby is so loved. Before ever coming into the world, it just warms my heart that you could see what I could see or you could believe in what couldn't be seen in the same way that I did and so I thank you for that I thank you for all of your prayers for me I thank you for all of your prayers for Applejack I haven't vlogged I think I said that I think I said that in the other one I wasn't gonna vlog I needed to take time off I had to go through every three days of blood draws and we went to five days and it was just very stressful I didn't film at all I think um I think when people are checking on you on me they don't realize like how stressful that is to keep going for the blood draws and waiting for the increase and then wanting an update and it's like i've got to process my own feelings and so it's just like every time you know it's crazy i was a crazy person i had a spreadsheet i knew what number we had to hit um each time and i was just holding my breath waiting for the phone call to come so you wake up that morning and you have this anticipation and so going through the shower and the subway ride and the blood draw and going through all of that I don't want to say dread it wasn't dread because there was hope at the end of there was hope that it was going to go up and hope that AJ was still going to be with me but it was anxiety ridden and I already have an anxiety disorder and so going through that and then someone was like are you doing pee on a stick and oh my god I would have lost my mind so I did that one crazy day of progression testing and then I knew that that did not make sense and I was not gonna make it so I didn't and then um we were doing three day draws and then we were doing the five days which was better but it is anxiety ridden like I said I had the spreadsheet I I have just been a crazy person because you don't know and um yeah so I don't know what I'm gonna I have still other the video before this to edit about when I talked to the doctor and she was saying it doesn't look good and we're gonna be cautiously optimistic which was the most detailed conversation I had because up to that point my doctor had not been back in the office and so um I knew it was a long shot I knew it was a long shot before I ever took my first injection i knew it was a long shot um and i it, throughout the process i prayed for progress not perfection and we got progress and so i was grateful for that and i tried my best to enjoy my little apple jack every single day but toward the end it just got to be so stressful and so it was um a lot to bear a lot to bear so for some of you guys at the end, I probably just stopped responding to DMs and if I didn't respond, please don't take it personally. I was just not in a good space. I do appreciate, I totally appreciate the fact that you were checking on me and I understand the sentiment that you, that you were not meaning me any harm. I, I get that. And I'm not upset with you. I was just stressed out from people. It was like, I can't explain it. The blood draw days was extra stressful because you go in in the morning and then you don't get the draws you don't get the results till 2 33 o'clock if i'm not in a meeting and then if i am in a meeting i get a voicemail where they don't tell you they want you to call back or there's an email but most of the times it was call back so it was just incredibly stressful and then people who knew i had the blood draw calling to ask and i think they meant well but i don't know that people are really prepared to hear the answer when they ask when you ask is Applejack still sticking around and I tell you no you got to accept that you asked you know what I mean and like I know people are probably like oh you shouldn't be so sensitive or you and you're right I probably shouldn't be so sensitive but I am who I am I'm 47 I'm probably not gonna change and so I think that's the thing about knowing how to support somebody because it really was sending me over the edge and it was it felt so awful to read those text messages it felt so awful to read those dms to have them coming again and again is applejack still around is applejack sticking with us 
like guys you gotta know the answer could be no is that a text message conversation we're gonna have and that's what the dread was coming in maybe i knew i don't know i don't even want to say i knew because i was hopeful but it was stressing me out and so um i'm rambling I'm really like my the point I want to make is I appreciate you checking on me I appreciate your concern and I was not in a really good place to receive all of it um, or to respond to it and so I think there's only so much anybody can take and clearly I reached my breaking point and it was stressful at work like work is crazy beginning of the year like we had to close out last year we had to um, I had a product to launch and so yeah it was just a lot a lot and people were reaching out to me and my family who I hadn't spoken to in a long time um, because they saw the videos and which that became a whole other thing because the videos are on delay so I can talk to my family members so the family members that I thought needed to know I had talked to I had no idea so many people were watching the videos and so then they were behind and then I'm trying to explain it it was just like oh my god it was a lot it was so much because while you guys are on delay I can respond to the comments of that video so in my mind it's that two weeks ago but then my family sees it and they want to know like up to date and it kind of makes sense to tell them so then I don't have to call them again in two weeks and so it was just especially when there was like the false like and then the technically and then the it was so many conversations or so it was like oh I whew. I will tell you what I think I understand now why people do it and get through it all like I remember watching Shelly Metling's video and she had had four miscarriages three or four at that point when she came back she had already heard her heartbeat like the next like she was gone for a while she came back she had a heartbeat i remember lisa and Lindsay. they didn't come back on and say they were until and it makes so much more sense now than to be going through it in real time um or even close to real time and i thought the two weeks were good but then there's a lot of you guys who are new who didn't know it was on two week delay so then you would see the video like i posted it on new year's day and then two days later people were like is there an update and i was just like oh my god i can't keep up and in that video i said i was gonna take a break that i was gonna rest so i was like it's two days later guys i don't know so it just is like and i know everybody means well so i'm not like i i'm not ungrateful i swear it was just a lot anyway okay you get it it was a lot um yeah i don't know i don't know i'm trying to think what questions you guys might have so